For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay of the new Swamp Knight Soldier. <laughs> I was able to get it as a reward after I completed the Crypts Part 2 quest, where you have to complete two missions in the Crypts dungeon. His three main abilities are Shockwave, Warcry, and Going Commando. And for a standard perk, he has Unearthly Treat, which increases your damage versus Mist Monsters by up to 42% based on a percentage of your missing health. And his commander perk gives you a 45% chance to conjure a phantasm whenever you take damage. And that phantasm targets a nearby enemy, deals energy damage in a half tile radius, and that can trigger once every one and a half seconds. Anyways, here's what the Swamp Knight looks like before you upgrade him. And let's go ahead and max him out. Dracarys. All right, so we just maxed him out. And the only accessory we got was this shield on his back. And we got this after the second evolution. And this is what he looks like when he's fully upgraded. And for our loadout, we're going to use the preemptive strike team perk. For our support team, we have main stage Quinn, Rabbit Raider Jonesy, Redline Ramirez, Crossbones Barrett, and Rex Jonesy. And the reason we chose this loadout is because we're going to be testing it while using sniper rifles. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 132 fight the category 2 storm. And we're also going to be doing it solo. All right, so this ain't the dude from Assassin's Creed. Just checking. But before we get into the gameplay, I do want to check out his perks and abilities. And the first thing I want to do is see how much damage we deal with a full amount of health. And we're going to use blasters for this example. Oh, 925,000. We did up to a million damage when we had about half of our health missing. And I also want to see how much damage we deal with hardly any health. Uh, it looks like we did 1.1 million that time. So I also want to compare the damage numbers we deal with heroes that can increase your crit damage and damage with weapons. And first we're going to start off with Rabbit Raider Jonesy and see how much damage we deal with Swamp Knight and our support team. So we were able to do 1.25 million, which is a little bit more than the 1.1 million we did using Swamp Knight. I also want to see how much damage we deal with Redline as our commander and Swamp Knight and our support team. We were able to do 1 million damage with Redline Ramirez as well. So there isn't really a difference in terms of damage between Redline Ramirez and Swamp Knight. The only difference is that she has a faster fire rate and whenever he takes damage, it'll give you a 45% chance to conjure a Phantasm, which targets a nearby enemy and does energy damage in a half tile radius. And that's how much damage our Phantasm did against this regular husk and pitcher. And it doesn't look like the Phantasm will cause propane tanks to explode. I also want to see if that increased damage applies to abilities. So right now we're doing about 11,000 damage with our health full. Up to 17,000 with our health full. And when we have half of our health missing, we dealt up to 24,000. So I believe it does apply to your abilities. I also want to see if it applies to traps. And with our health full, we dealt 46,500 damage when we crit. And let's see how much damage it deals when half of our health is missing. So it doesn't look like it's going to apply to traps because we're still doing the same amount of damage. But it will apply to abilities and weapons. When it comes to his abilities, he has the minigun, which uses 50 energy and has a 100 second cooldown. And that's only going to last for a total of 10 seconds. And he also has the Shockwave, which uses 30 energy and has a 25 second cooldown. And he also has Warcry, which uses 40 energy and has a 90 second cooldown. It's going to increase your and your teammates damage by 45%. It also increases your fire rate by 30% and your melee attack speed by 20%. And that's going to last for a total of 12 seconds. I also want to see if he says anything. It doesn't look like he speaks when you dance. Yeah. Oh, he does make noises. Sort of sounds like Jonesy a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's another little noise he makes. All right, here we go, people. You got this, Commander. So I didn't see what element it was earlier. Let's see if we go. Oh, I don't think we got one. Okay. All right, well, I did go ahead and change my loadout. I'll show you the one we're using. Uh, because I plan on using rocket launchers. First, we're going to start off with the Metal Marauder, and we may also use our Deatomizer if we need to. 
And it's like most of them are coming from the north and the northeast. We do have a couple of tunnels. One towards the north, one towards the east. And we also have one towards the south. But we don't have anything towards the west at the moment. So hopefully we don't get anything over there. And we probably should have put some traps over here as well. We do have three defenders helping us out. They're all using 130 obliterators. And I think we do have physical on this one. I haven't seen any elemental husk yet, so that's good because we have physical on our metal marauder. And the reason I wanted to use the black metal weapon is because it can increase your damage the lower health you have. And Swamp Knight also increases your damage the lower health you have. So I kind of wanted to try them out together. Uh, I'll show you all the perks we have on it here because I did change it since the last time I got gameplay with it. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. We put all damage perks on it. So we should be able to deal a lot of damage with it. Oh, we got Nature Husk now. Hold up. They must have been like random spawns or something. Hopefully. Looks like we got some coming this way too. And now they're changing direction. Oh, oh, they're coming from the west. I did not build towards the west. Okay. Hopefully our defenders can hold it down over there. Where are they coming from exactly? I wonder if we close this off. Probably not. We'll go ahead and try to close this off and see if they go through our tunnel instead. Oh, we got some coming from the east too. And we do have some tunnels up there, but I didn't know exactly where they would spawn. So it doesn't look like all of them are going through our tunnels. That's all right. Oh, we got smashers. An elemental smasher. He must have been a random spawn as well. So when it comes to Swamp Knight, I think he could really be useful when it comes to your support team. And obviously his damage applies to all types of weapons, ranged and melee weapons. So I feel like he could be useful when it comes to a lot of different hero loadouts if you put him in your support team. I don't think the Phantasm is good enough to make him your commander. I kind of feel like you'd be better off just putting him in your support team. Because you're going to deal more damage with other heroes. But I, I would definitely recommend getting them because I noticed with certain types of weapons, it's kind of hard to get heroes in every slot that increases your damage. Hey, help me out. So, oh, looks like trying to break in and our defenders down. Uh oh. Let's get grandpa up. Oh, that was a close one. And replace that. And I notice we're out of ammo too. Let's go ahead and try to craft a bunch. Otherwise, we're going to have to switch over to the atomizer. Man, that hurts. Grandpa, I just got you, dude. Ah, thank you. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get like uh, exploders here in a second. Hopefully, we get a better spawn this time around. Let's see where they come from this time. They've got me surrounded. Uh, they're coming from the south, and we do have a trap towards the south, so that's good. A little help here. And they're coming from the southeast. We don't have any traps towards the southeast. So I'm going to try to keep an eye on that. Let's I'm go and replace this. Help. Oh, we ran out of brick. Uh-oh. So I'm going to go ahead and save my slow fill for the mini boss, because we do have a mini boss on this one. Uh-oh. They got me. Let's see if we can kill him without making it explode and I'm gonna place a couple more traps over here as well because I don't like how they can just jump down right there that is not cool let's try to get grandpa back so we may have to blow up some stuff here because oh yeah we already blew up some stuff all right I didn't even notice oh mini boss okay here we go acid pools fire let's use our war cry on this one since we haven't used it yet. And I'll try to use my minigun before we finish. Oh. Let's 
so filled. <gasps> oh, he's breaking everything. Hopefully our defender can help us out here. Let's close that off. Get him, defender. Oh, we're doing some pretty decent damage. Not too bad. Still got two minutes left. Let's go ahead and replace all this stuff. I'm under attack. Hopefully we can get out of here. Oh, nope, we can't. Okay. Why can I not get out of here? Oh. I'm stuck, y'all. <gasps> oh my good. I really can't get out. Oh my goodness. Why can I not get out? Don't nobody look at this. I don't know if that's bugged or what, but they would not let me get out of there. I'm sorry, defenders. I let y'all hang in there. For a second, don't report me. They've got me surrounded. So, like I said earlier, in order to get Swamp Knight, you have to do the oh, oh man. You have to do the Crips Part 2 quest. I don't think it matters what kind of power level it is. The dungeons were actually pretty fun, so uh, if you haven't gotten them already, I would definitely recommend that you get them. Need a sniper rifle. Because even like when it comes to rocket launchers, uh, there aren't that many rocket launcher heroes in the game. Hey, help me out. So this is going to be like one of the few heroes that can buff your damage with the same thing with uh, sniper rifles. There aren't that many. Oh, where did they break in at? Uh-oh. We're going to have to do some patching here. Oh, they broke in right here. Okay. They didn't do too much damage, but they did a little bit. So I'm just going to stay over here for the rest. Since Grandpa's down. And we don't have that many traps over here. I think our defenders are doing pretty good on the other side. They don't need no help. Uh oh. Reload, man. Reload is so slow on this thing. Uh oh, there they go again. <gasps> Let's get them. No. Come on, we just gotta last for 10 more seconds. We got this. Hopefully, they don't do too much damage right here. But yeah, now that we've gotten gameplay with Swamp Knight, all we have to do is get gameplay with Mer Monster Ken. And I'm still going to try to review the Husk Grinder and the Dirge song as well, since we haven't reviewed them yet. Alright, so we got a level 4 loot chest with some gold, epic perk up, and survivor XP. We also got some gold for killing the mini boss, as well as an epic survivor and candy. And we also got some re-perk and legendary perk up. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Let me know what you think about Swamp Knight in the comments below. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.